just see my past life. So we uh, stopped off at Woolies in Catherine, fueled up at the Ampole. It was $1.99 out where the trucks uh, fuel up on Bicentennial Road if you're looking for fuel. Everywhere else was around $2.09 ish for, fuel, for diesel. But we've decided not to stay in Catherine. Um, we're heading towards Adelaide River Roadhouse. So once we get there, we'll uh, give you a look around at the pub, the bar, the caravan park, the campgrounds. The same guy that owns um, Daily Waters Pub owns the Adelaide River, and he's doing the same thing there as he's doing at Daily Waters, going for caravanners, $39, $36 a night for power. And $24 for unpowered. So we thought we'd uh, continue on and we'll stop there for a couple of nights just to um, have a break, have a rest again. And check it out, see what it's all about. Yeah. Well, we've uh, just pulled up at the Adelaide River Hotel. We've just found a park out the back. Now, I'll just quickly show you the area. It's the close. area. It's very, very small. All the sites back in over there onto that fence. But then if you look down, there's a little bit of an amenities thing here with a dartboard and microwave and fridge communal uh, kitchen and then there's powered sites you can see them they back into the little places this goes through to the pool where we're going now we've decided to park sideways over there and we I'd say probably taking up two so it's an easy one goes long ways and one goes away we're going but because of the size of us we need to go like that over the back there's a bathroom and laundry and I've just been over the toilets are quite good now we'll go through into the bar and have a cold drink and uh, see what's around. And we parked in that spot too specifically, so if there are other vans start coming in, it's easy for us to get out. Nice big pool. Beautiful. It's actually quite nice. Put your hand in. That's quite nice. Mm. During the day it would be really good. Oh yeah, that's nice. So not only do they have the... Um, the campground and caravan park here. They have motel rooms and cabins as well. Adelaide River Inn. Let's go check it out. A bit of a playground here for the kids. Some cabins over the back. Nice grassy area. That's not a knife. This is a knife. No, Dave. You're not Crocodile Dundee. It's actually Mick, Mick Dundee. It's a nice beer garden here. Oh, look at this big fella. Jock the Croc. Five metre jock in the glass box was caught at Borolula harassing and biting a boat motors and biting at boat motors at the boat ramp. Holy moly. That, that's actually been taxidermied, so that's actually the actual crocodile. There he is there on the picture. Look that's at his, um, him. look how fat his belly is. Do we have a crocodile? <laughs> The crocodile. Having dreams in a dream, I wonder why I carried on with the things that made you lose your mind. There's a way I cannot. How scary is that? Largest living reptile in the world. Just a can start fresh like a morning. What's so bad about that? So there's the prices for you guys. So it's $36 per site for two people for a powered site, $10 extra person, unpowered is only $24. So the same prices as Daily River Hotel, same owner. So why won't you follow? Why won't you follow me? Oh, here's some baby crocs. Oh, if I had a grandchild, kitties, I would bring you home a crocky. There's Charlie. Charlie from Crocodile Dundee. Dave likes his hat badges at the moment, 303 bar. Home. I know I can't make you mine. Yes, I ran out of town. There's no hope for me. I fell down the bottom. So I fell down way deep. But if I can't have the real you, then let me make a 3D print. So uh, part of the uh, pub that we're staying at and the campground that we're staying at has a short service station here 
So we're just coming around to have a bit of a squeeze and see what's here. Unleaded a dollar ninety one. These are a dollar ninety eight. Oh, it's cheaper that's than that's pretty um, good. That's cheaper than what was in Tesla. Yeah. Of you. Yeah, so they're renovating inside the server at the moment. It's very noisy in there. But you can get all your basics, your coffee, something to eat, um, obviously your fuel here. Happy hour at the pub is from 5 till 6. So unlike the Daily River where it was 4 till 6, mm. here it's 5 till 6. $6 for a schooner of beer, $6 for a uh, James Squire ginger beer, when it wasn't happy hour, that schooner jumped to twelve dollars. So yeah. they don't miss you. Yeah, and we had um, we had some dinner there tonight. I had a barra burger that was twenty six dollars, and Dave's steak sandwich was 26. yeah twenty six as well. So yeah. good feed, fairly big. Yeah, big feeds, average prices, but um, yeah, check it out when you come past. We've left um, Adelaide River in this morning or Adelaide River Roadhouse, Caravan Park, whatever you want to call it. We spent two nights there. It was only $36 a night for power and water or $24 um, for unpowered. Very small camping area, which Dave showed you on the um, GoPro. On the GoPro. Um, but it wasn't a bad stop though, because we're in a quiet season. It wasn't too bad, but if it was very, if we were like maybe down the track later in May, June, and it's busy, it'd be very crampy in there. You're better off stopping like Daily Waters or moving on more towards Darwin, depending on where you're heading, sort of thing. And with the size of us, we probably wouldn't get in there. But today we're on our way, only 30 minutes up the road traveling today, so it's our shortest travel time in a long time. We're heading we're to Litchfield. Thank you, Heather. Yeah. Litchfield um, Tourist Park, we're going to base ourselves out uh, for four nights and then and go and see as uh, much as we can around Litchfield National Park before heading up to um, Dundee Beach to see our friends for Anzac Day. Check out the, uh, the scenery around us. Well, we had a lot of rain last night as well, like thunderstorms and lightning. Yeah, it was pretty wicked. Very, very heavy, fat raindrops. The light show was incredible. Um, obviously, Ross was in the van, I was over the pub having a few points and um, I didn't have the camera with me, otherwise I would have filmed a bit of it. Yeah, there still looks like a little bit of rain around, like back towards Adelaide Riverway, so hopefully it'll uh, steer, steer clear of us at, um, at Litchfield here. They uh, have a thing in Darwin called the build-up. And during the build-up, you don't really get rain, <coughs> but you get some wicked lightning storms and the whole sky just lights up and it's all pink and all that sort of stuff like it is incredible if ever you get the opportunity to be up in Darwin during the build up it's a massive lightning show it's pretty cool to see so here we are welcome to bachelor I wonder how many bachelors are in bachelor probably none there's nothing here so there's a few different uh, accommodation options out this way but we just thought um, yeah, Litchfield Tourist Park looked good and then just do day trips out to the falls and have a really good look around. 2000 National Winner for Australian Tidy Town. What happened for the last four years, eh? Four? How about 24? Oh yeah, sorry. Oh yeah, 24. Of you, of you. All my friends keep on saying that I'm better off alone. They don't know what it feels like, but I do. So you. So we're at um, Litchfield Tourist Park here. It's pretty run. It's, well, a, it's, it's run down, overgrown. It is, yeah. They haven't really looked after it. It's a discovery or a gay g'day. G'day. It's a g'day. It's a g'day park, and we're paying fifty-two dollars a night with discount. That's with the discount. Otherwise, it's fifty-eight bucks a night. But like, you have a look yeah. around here, and they've got a toilet block right down the back there that's not even open. The yep. grass hasn't been mowed. Don't know how long. Faded out while I watched it down. This is us set up. We're on site one. So it's a fair distance to walk up to the other amenities um, and the pool. There's even but even the tap, so there's a tap hidden in amongst that green bushy stuff that I couldn't even find it after by where it was. And the water pressure's really poor. Really, really poor. They have these little sheds too, which are yep. camp spots. And they have some buildings here. Over to the right over there's all the unpowered sites. Mm -hmm. 
So there is a lot of trees and if you do have a sap dish you will struggle to get service. Um, they have a whole heap of little buildings like you can see through the trees there so you can hire little cabins here. They're probably nice inside. One thing I will say is their pool is very very nice to swim in and very clean. But depending on what sort of setup you've got there are some nice little shaded grassy spots. It's just expensive though. And um, the one amenities or the ablutions that they do have are very old which we'll go up and show you in there. Mm. Their shop is only open from 8 in the morning till 10. So they sell ice creams and drinks and stuff up there but and they do breakfast and takeaway meals but you you have to make sure you order in within those while Two it's hours. open yeah while Two it's hours. open so these are the little cabins like to me it just seems it just needs a good clean up it's a lot of money for what you're getting yeah when just up the road the zebra park 28 bucks a night for power and um 10 bucks for unpowered yeah you just don't have the pool yeah there's um, no pool but geez you've got all the swimming holes yeah looking straight ahead over there that's the little reception check-in shop cafe area and in here we have the amenities men's to the right ladies to the left and there is a dump point just down the end there so your toilets showers just make sure you wear your thongs a couple of funny things on the board so staying in bed shouting oh god does not constitute going to church teenagers tired of being harassed by your parents act now move out get a job pay your own way while you still know everything free to good home beautiful six month old male kitten orange and caramel tabby playful friendly very affectionate ideal for family with kids or husband 32 years old personable funny good job but doesn't like cats says he goes or the cat goes call jennifer complete set of encyclopedia britannica 45 volumes excellent condition thousand dollars the best offer no longer needed got married last weekend wife knows everything so yeah, a couple of little funnies. So this is reception here. Now I'll just show you inside. There's a little bit of a cafe slash store. The reverse almost broken. Can we be strangers? Against our fresh like a morning. But what's so bad about that? So they do do breakfast, coffee, and there we go. Open from eight till ten every day. Why won't you follow? Why won't you follow me home? I know I can't make you mine. Yes, I ran out of time. There's no hope for me. I fell down the bottom, so I fell down way deep. But if I can't have the real you, then let me make a three D. Washing machines. Okay, laundry hours are 8 till 8. Last washer dryer is 8 p.m. $4 get, a wash. So $4 a wash. Good morning, people. Good morning, everybody. We're uh, on our way now to Wongai Fall. So we're just going to go for a drive today. There's quite a few things to see along here. Wongai Falls is about 50. Uh, 52 kilometres from the Litchfield Tourist Park where we stayed last night. So we thought we might go the furthest one today. There is another one called Cascade. We may even go there. From the Litchfield Tourist Park where we're staying, Cascades is the furthest around and that's 58 kilometres. It is a... Um, it's a difficult walk. It's only 3.6 kilometres, but it says difficult on the paper. I don't know what difficult means to some people. Um, I'm not sure how I'll go with my knee, but we'll probably check it out anyway. Um, but the only the upper part of Cascade Falls is open. So make sure you do have, also, you do have your um, Northern Territory Parks Pass if you're visiting the parks 
up here and there's a crocodile sign so there's snapping handbags everywhere apparently even says it on the um the caravan map so they've got a creek that runs down behind them and they said be aware of the snapping handbags so don't swim unless it's signposted or my theory make sure somebody else is in the water first but even still in <laughs> saying that yeah my falls last year yep the person got bitten by a crocodile I reckon he might have jumped on him or something. Was it a salt, a freshie? Freshie, I think. Yeah, freshie. So guys, we're just about to drive into Wangai Falls. It's 1.6 kilometers from the turn off. Coffee shop's not open, the, open at the moment. Due to, um, it's not May. They'll open on probably the 1st of May for tourist season, but we'll uh, take you in for the ride. You can see, actually see the waterfall through the trees. You can't swim here at the moment. It is closed for swimming. But with all the rain up here, we should see some beautiful falls. Wongo Falls spills over the sandstone cliffs at the tabletop plateau into a large plunge pool that provides beautiful backdrop for a picnic or a walk. Okay, it's, it's uh, great for a refreshing dip when it's open. So we're here. Yep. We've only just got to walk to here. Yeah. It's look, we don't need to walk all the way up. No. It's 1.6 kilometres return, so we'll go and have a look and check Yeah, but that's out. probably all the way up here. We're not actually going to walk up there, so there's a whole... We're yeah. only just going to walk a couple of minutes. Oh, here we go. Here's um, an access, visitor access, to show you what's actually open at the moment. This was last updated on the 6th of April. Today's the, what, the 18th or something. Yeah, 19th. So... Wango Falls is here, the campground is open, but the plunge pool and the falls walk is not open. So it's not even open, the falls walk. So you can just go and have a bit of a look and look up at the water. So it actually looks like a nice area, a nice um, paved walkway down to the bottom of the falls. Over to my right, there's some picnic tables. Barbecue. Barbecue. Some over on the left. Yeah. So once they're open for swimming here, this would be a fantastic place. Oh look, we've got free Wi-Fi here at Wongai Falls, but you don't have it at the G'day Park at Litchfield Tourist Park. What's going on here? Wow, look at that. It is flowing. Wongai Falls viewing platform this way. Let's go this way. A little bit of information about the walk. So when the walk is open, so just to the viewing platform, it's 160 metres. Grade two, the treetop deck, 800 meters return. So you can see where we are here. Treetop deck up around there. And then the Wongai Creek loop is 1.7 kilometers, but that's closed at the moment. So we can just go to the viewing platform today. Yep. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. Look at that. What a fantastic time to visit Northern Territory just after the rain. You can see all these beautiful falls. And wheelchair accessible. Mm. Yeah, great little um, walkways. Oh, you can feel the water hitting you. Yeah, you can feel it. That's amazing. Have a go at that. One guy falls. Absolutely stunning. So this is the way through to the campgrounds um, at One Guy Falls here. Okay. Just right here, this is camping number three. So it's got a little fence. So it's obviously tent camping. You can't, I don't know what you can put in here. Oh, you might be able to get a camper trailer or something, or a small caravan in this one. Number four. 33 campsites all up. But anyway guys, that's One Guy Falls and Campground. And now we're just gonna drive up the road a little bit further and we'll go and check out Cascades. You can swim at Cascades, but right up the top in the plunge pools, not in the creek. So here we are at the Cascades. It's a 1.7 kilometer walk to the upper Cascades, which is open. We are here, down here. So you walk all the way through these picnic areas, all the way up 
so this this route here the lower cascades is all closed so oh shit we've got to walk this way all the way around just to get to the upper cascades okay let's uh take a walk So uh, after our last little hike and the double blowout of me soles, I reverted back to me trusty old sketches. Silly, silly. They are actually working a treat. Coming up the old goat track. And uh, there's an old goat going up the track. I mean, there's a, but uh, yeah. She's got a mountain boots on. And I've got the old trusty sketches. Can't go wrong. Follow me for more life hacks. So walking on up this hill, we've just had, a, I've just had a bit of a thought. If a bloody Taipan or King Brown decided to nibble on our feet, we don't have anything with us to uh, stop the um, venom. So uh, what we'll do is we'll rethink this and next time we will have our snake bite kit in the bag that's on my back and the personal locator beacon that is sitting in the car because I forgot to grab them so yeah just a handy trip for travelers so this time we did bring water <laughs> yes and food battle snacks just no uh help anyway guys we'll continue on up this hill I don't think we'd have too far to go so I just mentioned to Roz that my baby cows are barking. She's going, what? I said, my calf muscles, my calf muscles are aching. I thought all these hiking days were behind me when I left the army, but now I'm stupid enough to keep doing it. I'd say we've only got a couple hundred meters to go. We're up on top and I can hear water. Two hours later we are still walking now someone as uh fitting in shape as myself probably would have knocked this over in uh 20 minutes but i did the right thing and i waited for Rod. she's a little bit slower than me but yes um someone as in good shape and fit as myself 20 minutes i reckon beautiful crystal clear there's Roz. She made it. Right, best I get in. So uh, we're sitting at the uh, Cascade Falls up the top. Beautiful uh, temperature. Well worth the uh, visit. Get a little bit warm walking in here. But um, great little spot. And it just cools you off at the end of the walk. But by the time we get back to the car park, we're going to be hot again and I'll be out of sleep anyway. <laughs> Shoot in the dark, so I miss my talk. Yeah, it's a time to move. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. As some of you may be aware, the uh, our van is up for sale. So if you're chasing a uh, fairly new van, 22 model, with all the bells and whistles, DM us, and I think Ros is going to stick a few photos up. But uh, yeah, 145 or closest offer. Anyway guys, reach out and let us know. But uh, hey, it's that time again. Joke time with Dave. Hey Roz. Yes Dave. What do you call a superhero with a bad sense of direction? What? Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> Catches. <laughs>